Now in harness racing, they use a moving car, which gets the trotters and pacers moving swiftly and evenly. Our colleague Brad Diamond has more on the starting gate, a key element in harness racing. You're looking at a Brome Cadillac, but this is not the kind of car you're going to find in your neighborhood. I am sitting right now in the official starting car at Pompano Park, and with me is our official starter, Dan Kuhn. And Dan, tell me about this car, because you're the starter, but it takes two men to run this, and uh, tell me about it. Yeah, I think, uh, basically, I have the easy part. I operate the uh, speed of the car, and I uh, operate the function of the wings, decide whether or not we have a recall. Okay try and give everybody a fair, as fair a start as we can. But uh, I think a lot of the responsibility falls on my driver, Tom Wells. And you've got complete control here with your throttle of this car. Yeah, I regulate the speed of the car with my right hand. And then uh, I can operate the wings with my left hand. And then I can keep in contact verbally with the horseman through this small PA system. And uh, when we're on the home stretch here, just picking the horses up, the fans might be able to hear my voice, but mostly it's directed just towards the horseman. What's your fastest speed? What's your top speed when you let those horses go? Well, that depends on the field, but plus or minus two, three miles an hour, we're at 30 to 35, depending on, on how, uh, how fast I got to go to get out of their way. Races can be won or lost right here at the gate. What's your biggest concern? Well, we'd like to have them all reasonably close to the gate. You want everybody to have a fair start and a fast start and a very competitive first quarter, and who knows, you might see some real fast first quarters. You know, Gary, I've never seen you in one of those cars. What's that, a starting gate or a Cadillac? Neither. Well, as a matter of fact, I have been in Dan Coon's starting uh, car, and it's quite a view of the race, believe me when I tell you that. You'd look a lot better in a Cadillac.